Welcome to Fox News Channel's West Point Holiday Show. I'm Sandra Smith, coming to you from the grounds of the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York. West Point is America's oldest military post and one of our country's most fabled universities. Tonight, we will not only get to explore the rich history of West Point, but we'll also get to enjoy the music of the Army's oldest band. The West Point Band is one of America's finest military musical organizations. Throughout the next hour, we'll hear the musicians on stage as they perform in their annual holiday concert. But first, a look at how West Point played a crucial role in our nation's independence before it became the prestigious military academy we know today. The Academy sits on a plateau overlooking New York's Hudson River. The location, chosen in 1778 by George Washington, is no accident. He thought West Point was the strategic key to its defense by stopping the British advancement during the Revolutionary War. 24 years later, with legislation signed by Thomas Jefferson, the college was established, dedicated to training professional leaders in warfare. In 1817, known as the father of West Point, General Sylvanus Thayer served as the school superintendent, boosting academic standards while instilling military discipline. With the country just a few years old at the time, there was an emerging need for engineers. West Point catered to that need, becoming the first engineering school in the United States. Graduates would build much of the nation's early infrastructure. After World War I, the curriculum focused more on science and technology, adding more realistic combat training with an intensive physical fitness program. The Academy has produced some of America's most famous leaders, including Robert E. Lee, Ulysses S. Grant, Dwight D. Eisenhower, George Patton, and Buzz Aldrin. The list of notable graduates are just as impressive as the architecture on campus. The Academy was the first institution in the nation to adopt the Gothic style of architecture. Core buildings forming an imposing granite fortress, symbolic of the strength and tenacity needed to lead the United States Army into the future. Among them, the exquisite Cadet Chapel, which resembles a medieval fortress overlooking the campus. Irish and Italian immigrants who were stonemasons were told they would get citizenship if the chapel was completed in five years. They completed it in 14 months. The 192 windows throughout the sanctuary are dedicated to one of the graduating classes from 1802 through 1976. Tradition remains a big part of the Academy, as soldiers wear the same style gray uniforms as those in 1802, as a badge of honor, while living out the motto, duty, honor, and country. Boss, dismissed! <laughs> Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.